Okay, we're back to Let's Play Disney's Aladdin for the Super Nintendo, Part 6, and more story. Using one of his three wishes, Aladdin has the genie turn him into a prince. Outfitted with a magnificent caravan. Aladdin. Now Prince Ali Ab Bawa returns to Akaba. As the prince he can now try to win the hand of the princess in marriage. Is there a whole screen for the word marriage? This is kind of a bonus stage. Great place for you to grab gems. After the birds, you get control of the carpet, I'm assuming. Okay. After the genie leaves. Yeah. After it says action. You can grab all these gems if you want. Playing a rendition of Whole New World, which is pretty good for the Super Nintendo to mimic it this well. There are 10 red gems in this stage, so I'm pretty sure the stage is only one level, one screen, this, um, this song. I'm gonna shut up, because I actually like this song. And that was the bonus stage. Okay, I was wrong. It wasn't stages. It was the bonus stage. Jafar, Jasmine, Aladdin, Jafar. And I know which two gems I missed. I guess I'll have stage six in here too. Just when things are going great for Aladdin, Iago steals the lamp. Jafar, who is now master of the lab, uses his new magic powers to send Aladdin off to the ends of the earth. Once more, with the help of the faithful Abu and the magic carpet, Aladdin returns to Akrabar, ready to do battle with the evil sorcerer, Defar. And save Jasmine, of course. But that's a minor inconvenience, having to save Jasmine. Like, uh, like when someone has to save Amy. Well, that's how you get that jab. You bounce off of his lungs. And... Hmm, right. Palace guards have changed their color scheme because they are controlled by Jafar. Who Jafar really didn't need in the movie, but... He's smarter in this game and thinks he might need defense. Okay. Oh. Okay. Those things jump off of the walls and then try to fly into you. I'm not really sure how I'm going to get that gem. But that works. More apples. Not that I need them. Or if I'm ever going to use them. 
and bread, which was helpful. Ow! Hey! Now this is more like... Ah! Okay, it doesn't come all the way this side, so I'm okay. Missed that jam, oh well. Oh. So I'm assuming I'm back in the palace again, right? And the moon's not with me. Is it supposed to be? Okay, Iago's here. He jumps, he drops evil skulls. Huh. <laughs> When I got hurt, I collected a gem to give me an extra hit and full health. You die now, you sword thrower guy. Okay. They said flames on the floor, these things, which means they can kill enemies. It's a good idea to use them. But... The only guys that continue are pie, and I believe the scarab's in here. Yeah. Okay, another bonus game. And there was nothing to do after getting that scarab in the level. Oh well. Bonus game is the same as before. I got the genie! Yay! Now what do I get for getting the genie? Health restored and another hit. Okay, I thought it was a different sound effect. Oh well. We're still in the palace. <laughs> I thought we were getting closer to the throne room with all these things. Can't I kill Yago? I mean, I could in the other game, and that was in the desert level. Okay, I can't kill Yago. I really don't like skulls. Okay, we got rising fire! And lowering fire. Just getting out of up here will give you some leverage to wait for the fire to go down. And here. Apples that I don't need. Okay, careful. I'm not sure if that little fire kills you instantly, but I don't really want to stick around to find out. Pulling that will rotate these things. Um, can figure out how to get off. I guess it makes them go a different direction than before. That turkey is cut. Fred. Don't need it, but... And I believe we're coming up on the second real boss. Okay, I think if I transition the screens... I have the second real boss, Jafar! He throws his staff down, which shoots electricity, then he dives down. Use his staff that he threw to bounce on his head. He'll summon lightning every once in a while after you hurt him. And he'll summon those things. 
You can use those as leverage to bounce on him. I know I'm taking a lot of damage. It's necessary. Kinda. And that's a lot of death scene. At least I start right at Jafar, pretty much. I mean, yeah, there's nothing to do before him. This time. So it throws the staff, it shoots electricity, uses his bounce to get on him. He'll go up, he'll summon lightning because he's pissed. He always lands on lightning in kind of the same area. Headbutt the edge of the screen. Run! Okay, that didn't work. I didn't want to bounce that high. Okay, that didn't work either. I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm almost screwed there. Okay, that causes a lot of slowdown, you know. You got eight of them on the freaking screen. Okay. This time I'm going to play maybe smarter. Well, the first hit is usually easy. I need some lightning, which doesn't hurt you if you press the edge of the screen most likely. I need some of these things. Okay, I've hit him twice, he's hit me twice. It's four hits. The uh, vizier was supposed to advise the sultan. He was supposed to be smarter than throwing his staff in the ground and allowing me to use it as leverage. Why did he do that again? Without even summoning the things. That was what, six hits? And that's the, I guess, the stage done. And stage six cleared. Aladdin, Jasmine, Abu, Sultan. And my gem collection is what? Awesome. See you next part, which will be the final part. This is the longest video I've ever made so far, so see you then.